All right, so let's dive into it, y'all. This is going to be your love interest, or not your love interest, but your twin flame. Next actions towards you in May, if they have any. And once again, if you guys would like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my bio. My website is on there. I do have a service on there of their next action towards you. So make sure you check that out if you'd like to book your own personal reading. Okay, we got Virgo. My Venus is in Virgo. So let's dive into it. So my viewers, what is their twin flames next action towards them for May, for the month of May 2024? Oh, they're going to be wanting forgiveness. They're going to apologize for giving up or they're going to apologize for abandoning you. They're going to apologize for making you feel unwanted or unloved. I see they're going to be apologizing. They want to be at least cordial with you. If not back together, they want to at least be cordial with you. We have air sign energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius energy here. That could be one of y'all placements or one of their placements. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. But I can definitely see this person. They, they want to apologize. And my thing is, not only do they want to apologize, the people around them is telling them to apologize. So I see your love interest, whether it be in May or currently, they've been talking about you to other people, to their friends, to their family member, possibly even to freaking strangers. Yes, this is a collective reading. They've been talking about you. And I see whoever they've been talking about you to, they've been asking this person. The advice is to apologize. You deserve an apology. You deserve closure. You deserve some type of communication for how things ended or, you know, for any issues that happened between you two. Hmm. But my thing is, though, I feel like they're still going to be hot and cold. I feel like they're going to be cordial with you in a sense of y'all can communicate at peace. Y'all can be cool and communicate. But. I don't see they're going to have that growth in me. They're still going to be immature. It's like, even with this, it's like, you want to apologize because people is telling you to apologize to me. You're not thinking yourself or you're not feeling or you're not acting on it yourself. You're not saying, okay, damn, I fucked up with my twin flame. Or, you know, I really hurt my twin flame. Let me apologize. You're only willing to do it because other people was in your ear saying yeah I apologize like that literally just goes to show that they still haven't changed we have the seven of cups they're in their head their head is in the clouds of what they should say to you i do see they want to say something to you though but their head is in the clouds of what they want to say to you mm -mm. Well, let's go in with the Masculine's Oracle, the deck that I created, Masculine's Oracle, COVID-19 edition. Once again, if you'd like to purchase, in my bio is my website. My link tree has my website in it. This deck is currently on sale for $20 if you guys would like to purchase. Well, let's see. What is it that they want to tell you? Because with this King of Cups, that lets me know they got some, some things they want to get off their chest and they want to make sure they say it properly. They want to make sure they come off correct when they say it. Mm -hmm. She said, at this point, I don't even need the apology. It'd be like that. <laughs> I don't want to be cordial, and that's the problem. Either you love me or you're getting stepped on. That's mad funny. It's like damn near the same fucking cards coming out. Let me get one more card. So the first card that came out is my life is not as together as it seems. So off rip, they want to express to you their life isn't as together as it seems. It could be financially. It could be mentally. It could even be physically. They could be going through some things physically, car accidents, uh, I don't know, body aches or something. But they want to tell you their life is not as together as it seems. And once again, they want to tell you I'm afraid to contact you. This is my third reading. This same card has been coming out. This is my third reading. Can't make this shit up and then we have i didn't know who to choose so for the ones that your love interest had you in a third party situation and you know that they were confused on who to choose they were confused on who to pursue and then at the bottom of the deck we have i had to mask my feelings from you damn katie said and he literally just crashed his car that's crazy that is crazy that's wild mm -mm. 
So what else is this person's next action towards my viewers for the month of May? What else is their next actions? What else? Being indecisive about reaching out, of course. Of course, per usual. Being indecisive about reaching out, also being indecisive on if they actually want to work on things with you. But I personally wouldn't recommend y'all to work on things with them because clearly they still haven't grown much. Wow, just said he got in a he got in an accident, and that's how I found out about the third party trifling. I left him a week later. That's crazy. I don't know if I said it already, but we have the star card, Aquarius energy. Out of these three cards, two cards is pentacles. Heavy earth sign energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Crazy work for real. <laughs> right, Katie? I got my little teacup. Y'all, I'm so mad. I got this from the Dominican Republic when I went last month. Do y'all see how it fucking peeled? I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. That's crazy, Chi, Chai, however you pronounce it. That was your confirmation right there. Your spiritual team was like, prepare for him to reach out. <laughs> no. I'm Puerto Rican and black. A lot of people ask me if I'm Dominican, though, but mm-mm. This reading got me hungry, y'all. Remember I said I got my little snack for you? <laughs> but, okay, back to the reading. Their actions towards you in May. They're going to be indecisive. And my thing is, I feel like they may like an offer. Like, oh, do you want to get back together? Do you want to try again? But I wouldn't recommend that for y'all. Not yet, at least. Even with the star card here, that could show maybe closer to Aquarius season, which is like next year, what, February? But not right now. This person has one up to do so. See, they're so indecisive. They are literally so indecisive, it's pissing me off. All right, boom, you see the two of pentacles. This is them juggling the two thoughts. Of working on things you can see how this person is working on this craft on working on things with you or holding back like what the hell if you're indecisive then just don't even come towards me don't play with my emotions like that because if anything you're just gonna get karma for that honestly you over here toying with people's emotions mm -mm. Mm -mm. i don't like it what else is there their next actions for me. <laughs> their mind is going to be eating them up. Their guilty conscience is going to be tearing that ass up. We have regret slash remorseful. In May, they're going to be so regretful once again of whatever it is that they did to cause this separation, whatever it is that they said or might have done to betray you. They're going to be so regretful over it. And then we have spell work involved. That card came out in the second reading. Magical practice is being used to influence the thoughts and or actions of a person or situation. Now, I don't see that they're going to be doing spell work on you. I'm going to get more clarification on that to make sure. But I don't see them doing any spell work on you. I mainly see they're unintentionally trying to manifest you. So it could be through dreams, through thoughts, through songs. They're unintentionally or intentionally trying to manifest you. But let's get some more clarification on that. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Clarification on this spell work card. Tell me more about that because I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We have the Will of Fortune. Queen of Cups reverse. 
Why I feel like this is bringing it back. Do y'all remember in the second reading, I said that they're the type of person to badmouth you and gossip about you to prevent other people from wanting you. I see in May, that's still going to be their actions. They're going to be gossiping about you. They're going to be badmouthing you to make sure other people don't want to deal with you. Once again, what they're going to tell people is, oh, yeah, so-and-so does spell work on me. You know, so-and-so, you know, they be, they be dibbling and dabbling in spell work. So you can seem unattractive to people. But my thing is, that'll make you unattractive to people. Like, if anything, you making them more interested in me. Now, I'm sure they got some questions they want to come and ask me. And now you bring you bringing them to me. You, you making them approach me. Like, come on. That just pissed me off. We have the death card at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. And then we have the lover's card, Gemini energy. And the craziest part is, this person, they're only hurting their self. Because them talking about you so much to other people, it makes people curious. And that's what they're not understanding. These people are going to become curious about you. And they're going to be thinking, damn, I, I swear I want to get to know. So and so twin flame. I sort of want to get to know that person. I sort of want to see, do they really be doing spell work? I want to get to know them. And boom, attracting people to you. Hi, Alana. CC, I'm not doing any personal readings. Just collective. Can y'all give me to 50,000? Likes, please. 50,000 likes. 50,000 likes. Thank you for the share, Susie. Ciao. This is nuts. This is nuts. I want to grab some advice for y'all. I'm going to grab some advice from the tarot deck and then I'm going to grab some advice from for you, from your angels regarding this situation. Cuz clearly it seems like their next move is coming towards you in May. And if they don't come towards you in May, I feel like in June they're going to come towards you because they're actively thinking about it and not only that, the people around them is telling them to. Thank you, Rock. Rocky, thank you. This is getting serious. <laughs> It is, right? It is. It's getting serious and deep. Candace, I'm not doing personal readings. I'm sorry. If you like a personal reading, you can book in my bio. It's in My website is in my link tree, but this is collective readings only. Alrighty, so what is my viewer's advice regarding their twin flame? This could be for May or this could be just in general. What is their advice regarding their twin flame? We have the strength card, Leo energy. We have the eight of cups. Damn, your advice is to walk away from this connection. No, it's okay, Candace. Unfortunately. Your advice is to walk away from this connection. Your advice is to start having, which is crazy to say because most people, you know, they'll be like, oh no, don't have no pride and ego. Or you gotta be humble. But in this case, you need some pride and ego. Like your spiritual team is literally like, you need to build some pride and ego to where you will deny this person. To where you would know better than to pursue them while they're in this current phase of their life. Because right now, they're bottom of the barrel. Right now, they're beneath you. And your spiritual team is literally like, you got to have some pride and ego to yourself. You got to make sure when they come back towards you, yeah, you love them. Yeah, you have feelings for them. Yeah, you're probably going to want to reconcile with them. Yes, you love them. But you have to have another enough pride and ego to not let this person walk all over you again. To not give them a chance to betray you again. Ah, oh, Marina. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What else is their advice? What else is their advice? We have the Ace of Swords. We have the King of Swords. One thing you have to learn from your twin flame is how nonchalant and detached they are. Your advice, your added advice, exactly, Rock, stepping back into your light. Nick said, I know that's right. We standing on business this year, period. But another thing is you and your twin flame will teach each other things throughout the course of y'all, y'all twin flame journey. And what you need to learn from your twin flame is detachment. 
One thing about them, when they ghost you, they don't reach out for days, weeks, months, for some of y'all, even years. When they ghost you, you be sitting there thinking like, damn, do they even think about me? Do they even care about me? Like, when they ghost you, even you be looking at it like, damn, do they still want me? Yeah, they do, but you may not feel it. You may not see it because of how detached they can become. Because how nonchalant they can become. You have to learn that from them. So when they come back towards you, whether it be in May or sometime this year, you have to set those boundaries, have some pride and ego to yourself to say, no, I'm not letting you back in my life. You don't deserve a spot in my life right now. And detach the same way they would. And it's easier said than done, of course. But you have to detach in the same way they would. When they detach, you be questioning your worth. You be questioning the love they had for you. You be questioning the things that they shared to you, the things that they said. You need Now the tables need a turn. And not in a malicious way. You're not doing it to be petty. You're not doing it to go tit for tat. But right now, your twin flame, if they was to come towards you, would only further hurt you, further damage you, further make you even hate them, resentment, resent them for some of y'all. So it's like, rather than making matters worse, learn that lesson from them. You got to detach. <laughs> That's your confirmation, Jess. So let's go into the Oracle deck. This is going to be what your angels have to tell you as advice. This could be regarding this twin flame connection, or it could be regarding, you know, something in your life instead. So let's see, what is my viewer's advice? Okay, so the first card that came out is Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. <laughs> I like that. Kristen said, I feel like we're on FaceTime right now. I, feel, I like that. I like that. So Bridget, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. And then we have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. See, Marina, and this live right here is literally your confirmation. You're here on this live for a reason and you're feeling that. Your, your intuition was telling you that for a reason. But see how you weren't trusting your intuition? You said, I don't think it's the right time. You don't, you're not looking at it as it's for sure not the right time. I know it's not the right time. Your intuition is telling you it's not, but you're still not fully trusting it. And look, you're in this live because this is your confirmation. It isn't the right time at all. But once again, we have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Hey, Samara, Samara. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, y'all. And all these readings will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel, you guys. It's in my bio. Okay, Nick, I finally found peace and I'm actually enjoying being by myself. I know that's right. Good. But yeah, the three uh, collective readings that I did will be uploaded onto my YouTube tomorrow. I'm not about to wait for it to upload tonight. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna lie. So it's going to be up tomorrow. Um, what else was I going to say? It's in my bio, in my link tree, in my YouTube. If you're an Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, or Leo, you're on my channel.